You good? New mic, who this? <laughs> who dat? Who dare? <laughs> Are we going to name them? We need to name them. What should we name them? I'm going to name them Philip. Philip. There's a reason. There's a reason. There's a reason. Okay. Philip has always been the name of like any electronic I've ever had. That's an interesting choice. Technically, um, this is still Bill. Oh yeah, Bill but in disguise. Bill's making a comeback. Bill is in disguise. Ah, uh, Bill. Uh, well, Nobody knows we named him Bill for this one. No, huh? I guess that's true. That when we named him Bill. You that doesn't come out for next bit. week. Um, yeah, I don't, I, I'll have to come up with a name. I'll have to think about it. Mine is Philip because every cell phone electronic I ever had. Do you remember first like iPhones? It, it would say, it would tell you to name it. It was like, name this device. Yeah. Okay. I think it really meant to like label it like Megan's iPhone. You didn't do that? No. I went, oh, it needs a name. <laughs> and I named my first phone because I got my first phone when I was 17. Okay. I never had a cell phone before then. Yeah. I got it at the uh, ripe age of 17. Um, I named it Philip. And I've named every single one of them I've ever gotten after that, Philip. I definitely think that you let the sparkle take over on that one. Oh, definitely. <laughs> <'Cause> the, <laughs> that was, was at the time unmedicated and undiagnosed. Yeah, mine's just Natalie's iPhone. Nat's iMac. Nothing, nothing ever fun or special. I, I you put your phone up there. I don't know it's where down it's down here. Oh, okay. I was gonna say I don't know. I moved it. If that's what you're looking for, but um, yeah, it'll get there. Hi, darlings. Hold on. <laughs> Holding. Oh, <laughs> my boobs. <laughs> I'm sorry, Philip. Didn't mean that, bro. Philip enjoyed it. <laughs> um. Hi. So. No one knows this, but we're going to be open about it because we're those bitches. We are re-recording. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Oops. We oh, wasted hours sorry. on a Thursday night yeah. recording an episode yeah, and then recording stupid shit after said episode. And frankly, like said episode, the content was pretty solid. Like, we did a pretty good job at staying on topic and stuff. It was a solid episode. The audio was straight shit. up shit. <laughs> the audio was shit. The audio was shit. So we are here. I am uh, in like almost the same clothing. Oh, I the only thing that's the same is this. But I'm not wearing anything that's the same. <laughs> this is from two days ago. <laughs> we had filmed it. And we just got the microphones today, the, the new microphones today. Had technical difficulties using two of the same microphone on an iMac, so I'm using Bill instead. And hoping that we figured out the problem. And can, and can use... If it's Philip, should I, should I name mine Elizabeth? F Philip and Elizabeth? Elizabeth? Yeah. yeah. Who's Queen Elizabeth and her husband? I was not thinking Prince that. Prince Philip and Queen Elizabeth? I was thinking you would have went Aurora? different. Yeah. Should I name it Aurora? She's pink. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Philip I can't Aurora. believe you didn't. That wasn't your first. All right. Mine's Aurora. Philip and Aurora. Yeah. She's sleeping right now, which is fitting. <laughs> She's in a bag in a box right now. <laughs> Bill is wearing her crown. <laughs> We're re borrowing. We it. are rewriting <laughs> yeah. Sleeping Beauty Sleeping story. Beauty. Yeah. <laughs> Bills in disguise. So Christmas. Oh yes. 
<laughs> you had to think for a second. You had a good Christmas. Yes, I did. And it was it was Amelia's first Christmas. She yeah. quite enjoyed herself. She opened lots of gifts, tore through that paper, threw the boxes, didn't play with the toys. I feel like that's every one-year-old's first Christmas. It's just them going to town. It's more enjoyable, I think, when it's like that, instead of them critiquing the gifts that Santa Claus brought them. Yeah. Um, she tried to eat all the tags off the clothing she got. <laughs> and um, she just had a lot of fun. Well, good. Did you guys do anything? Um, we went to my parents mm -hmm. um where she got to hang out with her cousins mm -hmm. um chase her one cousin around mm -hmm. uh my my nephew she had a good time good i thought she had a good yes. christmas she had a good christmas um i did nothing that sounds great yeah we had logan's parents here i made dinner christmas eve Christmas Day, went and saw a movie, and they always like to go out for hibachi instead of having a traditional Christmas to each their own. So we did that. It's the last year that we're probably doing that. So I, you know, gorged myself on some steak and scallops and came home, took a nap. <laughs> relaxed that was my uh, that was my christmas logan watched football the raiders won i guess they beat the chiefs yes and I'm he was aware. so excited about it <laughs> i'm aware <laughs> we were sitting down watching the previews in the movie theater and this man is you know right next to me and his phone is sitting on his lap on with the football game on silent but the football game wasn't over yet so he's just sitting there waiting for the game to be over because you know when was the last time the raiders beat the chiefs it was a it was a pretty big deal a while yeah it was it was a pretty big <laughs> deal so he, he was doing that and i kept nudging him because i was like you're you're so rude yeah it's <laughs> so rude it is distracting me. Although I will admit, like all of the previews for the movies that are set to come out, none of them intrigued me, mm. which was a little disappointing. You got any New Year's resolutions? God no, God no. That wouldn't. It'd last two weeks. It'd last two weeks. <laughs> it wouldn't. I can't do New Year's resolutions. It's not easy. You can't think of it as a New Year's resolution. I don't think. Like why? Do you have to have a reason to get your shit together? That's, you know, like a big unnecessary thing. Like, oh, it's the new year. I'm going to get my shit together. Instead of just, oh, I'm annoyed that my shit isn't together. I'm going to I'm do gonna it. I'm going to get my shit together. Yeah. Yeah. Because if it's something you really wanted to do, you would just start doing it, not wait until the first of the year to try to do it. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's done. Are you going to stay up and watch the ball drop? I I don't think so. <laughs> but Logan, I don't think so. Logan's parents are doing this, this New Year's Eve party. And his mom was like, yeah, I got us. I guess we're going bowling. She was like, I got us bowling from 10, 10 p.m. to 1 a.m. And we're going to be bowling while we watch the ball drop. I looked right at Logan and I went, I am snoring at 10 p.m. 10.30 at the latest. What do you mean we're going to be bowling from 10 p.m. to 1 a.m.? And this party starts at like 5 o'clock at night. So we're no. going late <laughs> because, first of all, it's a two-hour drive from here. We have oh, the really? dogs. Yeah. We have the dogs. I didn't realize she moved that far away. Mm -hmm. So we have to uh, drive up there. Probably going to get there around eight. 
And I guess we're staying until right after the ball drops and he's driving home because I'm going to be asleep in the car. <laughs> I I wasn't even awake yeah. for it last year. I was sound asleep last year. I had no interest. Um, yeah, so was I. I also, I had a headache. So I went to bed early. Anyways. You were heavily pregnant. I was. Yeah. I was eight months pregnant. Yeah, you were you were seven and a pop. half, maybe eight months pregnant. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't get it. I don't understand why New Year's resolutions are such a big thing. Mm-hmm. It's almost like a a Hallmark holiday, but it's not. Yes, yes, yeah. But historically, it's not. Like, there is a historical reason behind them, but it doesn't make sense anymore. Previously, the celebration of the new year, it was to grow crops and, you know. This is, it's also like the same thing as uh, <clears throat> turning our clocks back. Did that was know? all like crop bait like that was Did all had know? to do with farmers and shit i think it's arizona don't quote me on this there's a state that doesn't there, do it there's a state that doesn't do it state so that doesn't strange. Do it. yeah i know so strange and i thought why I, I thought we were supposed to stop doing it but i guess that bill never went through how do you not pass that bill wait there was a <laughs> there was a bill that was yeah that was supposed to go through to have us stop doing daylight savings and it was supposed to literally <laughs> be done this year like it was supposed to be official this year that we were no longer going to be doing it but the bill didn't get passed that's the dumbest bill i've ever yeah. heard of like, why are we wasting time with that we should just all... i have a feeling that wasn't the only thing in that bill i have a feeling there were things thrown into that bill that they were trying to get people on board with getting something else passed by going well we'll also throw in daylight saving time you know that pesky little thing that you all hate we can get rid of that i think just we should just bill. all come together and make an agreement that this is the time and that is that yes i feel the same thing about same way about like the time zones oh, yeah in the united states there are so many time zones here mm -hmm. Why is it necessary? Probably for the same reason. But, like, I just don't like it. I don't get it. It's just annoying. It is annoying. What you got? So, um, the peeps missed <laughs> because we're not showing it. We went over a nice long list. We did. Of accents. Made by this list was made by the Highland Fidel Scottish. Scottish. Okay, first of all, <laughs> sorry, Bill. the nerve to put America as the worst accent. The nerve, the nerve, rude. No American accent made it to any other list other than on the worst <laughs> list. <clears throat> so I found a new list. I found some new lists. I found two new lists. Okay. okay. They're okay. they're a little different. Mm -hmm. Um first we will go through the just main list. So most liked foreign accents. Mm -hmm. Um at the bottom. So mm -hmm. we'll start all the way at the bottom and go to the, to the top. To yeah. the top. Yeah. Give um, that anticipation. Uh with nine percent Welsh. Mm -hmm. Also but nine percent uh South African. Okay. Uh, ten percent Swedish, eleven Canadian, mm -hmm. twelve German. Okay. Thirteen Japanese. Interesting. Yeah, that beat that beat German that beat German and Canadian. Um, well, the Germans sound angry. The Canadians are too nice. <laughs> uh, 15 Latin American 
Okay. I keep hitting Bill. I'm sorry. <laughs> Bill won't accept this abuse. <laughs> I'm not used to this. <laughs> Cut me some slack. <laughs> um, 16, Russian. That surprises me. It does. I had a um a violin teacher that was Russian. And it's really hard to understand them sometimes when when they talk real fast because her accent was so thick. <laughs> um, let's see. 23, Spanish. Okay. 25% Italian. Mm-hmm. 29% Scottish. Okay. There's a theme. Thirty-four <laughs> percent French. Okay. Yeah. Thirty-six uh, percent Irish. Okay. I'll, yeah. Yeah. Not Irish, not bad. Irish accent's nice. Um. Can you read? Fifty-four percent Australian. Australian. <laughs> Fucking Aussies, man. <laughs> And then at number one with 69%. That's a great number. What do you think it is? The British? Yes. Hell yeah, it is. <laughs> hey, man, British boys. It's, they got something going on. All right. And then next to this list, because America got fucked on in the other list. America always gets fucked on. Uh, we got most liked American accent, accents. Okay. Okay. Very bottom. Number three. I've been three percent. Yeah, Pittsburgh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Five percent. Philadelphia. Uh, Philadelphia. Uh, yo, why are they hating on Pennsylvania? I know, and that's the only place Pennsylvania shows up in this. What the fuck? <laughs> Is at the bottom of the list. Our voices. Thanks. That our accents are that bad. <laughs> I mean, we're not from Philly. No. Nor Pittsburgh. No. So I guess we fall into. Another category on here. Um, I mean, the Philly accent is pretty bad. Six percent. Didn't know this. First off, didn't know this accent existed. Kind of want to know what it is. Appalachian. There's an accent there. Do do people that murder on the Appalachian Trail have have their own accent? Have their own accent? Is this a thing that we don't know about? Oh. Uh, seven percent Hawaiian. Ooh, okay, nine. Isn't, isn't Jason Momoa Hawaiian? Yes, yes, he is. Samoan, I think. Samoan, yeah. Um, nine percent Minnesota. Minnesota. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say it like that. Yeah, you do. Also, nine percent Long Island. How does Long Island beat? Philadelphia. Have you? Okay, Long Island isn't Manhattan or Queens or the Bronx. But have you heard people speak in Center Philly? <laughs> I mean, yeah, but you want wit whiz. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wit whiz is water. <coughs> water crown. Wait, wait. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I find that better than a Long Island accent. It's so bad. But they have good tea. <sighs> 12% Chicago. Okay. 16% Texas. Yeah. I almost expected Texas to be so a little higher. Here's than that. my question. I understand that, like, you know, it's it's a joke that people pronounce things differently in different parts of the state. Like people in Pittsburgh do pronounce things differently than people from Philly. However, you do make a valid point. How different is a Long Island accent than a Philly accent? Because it's right across the water. Exactly. It's right, it's right across the water. Like, you, 
especially when you go to Jersey, you can take a ferry from Trenton. I think it's Trenton to Manhattan. We're pretty close. We're still a part of the Northeast. I, I don't understand how they consider them like, super different. Also, right. like, why, though, do certain places like that have such thick accents? And then you can go, like, I don't know, to, like, where we are. And it's like, no one has anything anywhere close to that. Maybe we're just used to it. Maybe we do when we don't know it. But even what down, is our accent? Yeah, what is our accent? But even down south, like they all just sound like they're from the south. Okay, well, this next list is going to piss you off. <laughs> it's going to piss me off? Yes, because this is also from the Highland. <laughs> so, coming in strong, most annoying accents. <clears throat> Boston, New York. An American Mid-Atlantic. The, every single one of these categories only has three accents in them, and we take all <laughs> of the most annoying accents. You know what, Scotland? I really liked you up until now. <laughs> I still like you. Most assertive accents? Boston, mm. German, and Welsh. Why is Boston assertive? an assertive accent? I mean, I can see that, though. Well, I feel like New York would be in a very assertive accent. German, yes. Yes. Welsh, I can see it. Boston, people just yell at each other there. But that's just them talking. That's the thing, though. Assertive accent. It just, just sounds like they're yelling at each other. Okay. All right. I bet Chris Evans would, would agree with this. And I, yeah, we can't argue with Chris Evans. He is America's ass. Yeah. Yeah. We had a whole conversation about that. <laughs> yeah, we did. Most boring, actually, to add to that, not only do we have a whole conversation about America's ass, Chris Evans, we have a whole Pinterest board. <laughs> oh my God, we do. We have a whole <laughs> Pinterest board that just says America's, America's ass, ass, and they're just. Mainly all pictures of Chris, Chris Evans. Evans. <laughs> the main photo on it is just the the back view of him. His is just his ass, but and it's just tons of photos of Chris Evans and other characters yeah, from America's ass. Wow, I haven't been on this in a while, right? I added some stuff to it. <laughs> I don't know if you yes, see any of them. you did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Periodically. I have an army. We have a Hulk. We have a T-Rex. I've got a jar of dirt. <laughs> <laughs> My new favorite. <laughs> the best Marvel superhero. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> I've got a jar of dirt. I've got a jar of dirt. Um, most annoying celebrity accents. Okay, this one's going to be interesting. I'm ready. Should we do that or should we do most attractive celebrity accents first? Annoying. Annoying first? Okay. Yeah, because I have a feeling that we're going to be more opinionated about the attractive ones. Probably. Um, we'll start at the bottom. So number 20, Russell Brand. <laughs> I love him, though. I'm it's so funny. Nervous. His accent's more funny than anything. What is his accent? He's from the UK. I don't know if he was born in London. He lives in London now, um, as far as I know. But Okay. It's Russell Brand. Come on. Leave the man alone. Number 19. Kanye West. <laughs> oh, the audacity. Number 18 is Adele. <gasps> the audacity. Adele has a beautiful accent. She has a gorgeous voice. This next one makes sense. That I don't agree with. Um, here's the thing. At least she's further down on the list of like least than than this next person. Because she's at the, like the bottom of the list, which means like she's not that bad. You know what I mean? Because the next one is Larry the Cable Guy. <laughs> 
<laughs> that would make sense. This one's a crime. Dolly Parton? <gasps> How dare you disrespect Dolly Parton? Listen here, Jolene. <sighs> oh, wait a minute. Now you're coming after her... Her her goddaughter. Miley? Miley is next. Miley Cyrus. I mean, have you heard some of... <laughs> yeah, but... <laughs> Are you sure? Disrespect on Dolly Parton. <laughs> Dishonor on you. Dishonor on your cow. Next, Mark Wahlberg. Oh. That's Boston, though. Yeah. That's a Boston accent. Yeah. It's a really good Boston. It is a really good Boston it's accent. Boston. That's like one of those Boston. I'm trying really hard not actually to too far ahead. Understand? Yeah. Well, you can like skip some if we don't know who they are. Oh, we know who all these people are. Oh. Uh, Twelve. Matthew McConaughey. All right. Eleven. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. Yeah. <clears throat> Uh, three is Gilbert Gottfried. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All these like end ones, like, you bad. can't, you can't argue with any of these end ones. Trust me. Um, two, Kim Kardashian. She's almost at the top of the list. She's not like kind of like the Valley girl. <laughs> a variation of the Valley Girl accent. You've seen those. I yeah. don't know if they started out as TikToks. I'm assuming that they did. Probably. Oh, no. <laughs> Not the croutons. <laughs> I can't with those. Did you Did you see the her Christmas gift wrap this year? Oh, God, no. It was Skims. All white Skims. So she repurposed. I don't know if it was the Skims fabric. Oh, I thought you were going to say it was Skims and that all of the Christmas presents had nipples. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to be like, if you're about to tell me that her Christmas presents this year have fucking nipples on them. <laughs> okay, Kim, I'm I totally can't. never going to see this. I would be surprised if you did. Listen, next year, you should. Do what you did this year, you know, repurpose the, the Skims fabric, but 100% put a fucking nipple bra <laughs> on the box underneath and, and give them boobs. How do you unwrap that? How do you unwrap what? How do you unwrap a gift that has Skims on it? It was like done so that I think it was the arms. I think it it was like the, the body suits, the arms made like a bow. That you could just like, you know, unravel. Interesting. Yeah. But it would be really funny if the nipple bra was underneath and it, they had nipples. Oh that, my would, God. that would be really funny. I'm just saying. You know. Number one is Fran Drescher. <laughs> it's the nasal. It's the nasally. I'm trying so hard not to do it. <laughs> All right. Now yeah. let's get to the most attractive celebrity accents. Okay. Coming in at number 20 is Brad Pitt. Number 19, Tom Holland. British. Mm. Um, Beautiful man. Number 18, Pierce Brosnan. You don't know who Pierce Brosnan no. is? No. Who's James Bond? Oh, see, I don't know people's. Do I see? I don't know. There's also a Mamma Mia. One and two. Sometimes for certain celebrities, though, like I have to see yeah, their faces, he was, and I just don't know their names. He was the '90s James Bond when we were when mm. we were younger. Well, I was born at the tail end of the '90s, so yeah. I'm just petting this pillow. It's very soft. It is very soft. It's tactilely pleasurable. <laughs> Um, 17, Hugh Grant. Oh, but it's, yeah, okay. I think he should be higher. I love his accent. 16, Henry Cavill. 
He made it onto the most attractive list, but he's number 16. Mm, Yes. Somehow, on both the most attractive and the most annoying, Matthew McConaughey has found his way (laughs) onto both the most attractive and the most annoying. And he is higher up on the most annoying than he is on the most attractive. (laughs) But he's also... Higher on the most attractive than Henry Cavill, so we need to have a discussion, people. Yeah, and Tom Holland, and Tom Holland, and then Andrew Grant. What are we doing? And then fourteen, Liam Neeson. Oh, I will find you, <laughs> and I will do it. Fucking bet. <laughs> the sound made my toes curl. Hold <laughs> on. Tom Hiddleston. 12, Penelope Cruz. Beautiful. Oh, oh yeah. She has a beautiful accent. 11, Emily Blunt. She does too. Gorgeous. She really does too. Mm-hmm. 10, Benedict Cumberbatch. Oh my God. Him trying to say penguin is the best thing in the world. <laughs> I love And he said it like different. <laughs> penguin. <laughs> He can't say the they let him go the entire. Penguin. They let him go the entire documentary, documentary. like that. It's Nobody said anything. My love, it's penguin. <laughs> uh, nine is Nicole Kidman. Okay. Yeah. Uh, eight is Salma Hawk. Mm-hmm. She's got a lovely voice. Mm-hmm. Seven is Hugh Jackman. Mm-hmm. And yeah, also. Um. On the most attractive list, along with most annoying, Sophia Vergara. She is one glad. down from this. So she's six on this and she was five on the other. <clears throat> I'm glad that she's on this because I think that she has a beautiful voice. Yeah. Um, five, Emma Watson. Classy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Four, Margot Robbie. Oh. So Margot, Margot Robbie made it on here. Good. Um, three, Chris Hemsworth. I'll admit it. Aussie. Um, it's nice. Two, Sean Connery. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, a number. Yeah. I agree with number one. Idris Elba. Really? He's got a, he's got a nice voice. Good for him being number one. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to talk about... Uh, smut now or do you want to give yourself a week and we'll talk about it no i feel like i need to talk about what happened today okay so last night i decided finally because i was like i have a lot of cleaning to do i need to clean up from from christmas i have so much shit that i need to clean up my house from like i didn't i didn't do anything basically and um i was like i uh, mm, dipsy so i got dipsy up and i was like i'll listen to that couldn't really find anything. <clears throat> For those of you that don't know, Dipsy is essentially porn. Pretty much. But there's stories in it. There is stories. Of them fucking. I mean, like, pretty much every single one of them is I'm fucking. But awesome. So is this fucking book. So. You're welcome. So. I. I decided. Listen. I don't watch porn. I read it like a fucking lady. Okay. We're classy. Not trashy. Exactly. Um, <laughs> she finally started reading Haunting Adeline. Yes. So I downloaded Audible and I was like, you know, I'll get the subscription. They do that. They're doing that like three month thing I right have now. So many things to send you to listen to. But I only get like one book a month. You can buy the books or buy more credits. <laughs> They were actually doing a sale. Today is the last day. They did the three months for seven ninety nine thing. Yeah, but they're doing a sale on certain books. They're like, I got a book. Maybe that was I should eighty percent off. I have. I had three credits when I started because I think I had Audible before, and it was automatically giving me credits every month, and I wasn't using it. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> okay, please continue. Because I have the Wrath and Dawn on there. Oh, do you? Yeah. Oh. Because we both, we both, but we both did that on, on, uh, um, yeah. Webtoons. Yeah. Yeah. So I never finished that. I'm also not caught up with lore either. But. I'm, not, I'm not either. 
I, 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 know, I was thinking that. about that the other night, but that requires me to sit down and actually catch up and I can just listen to this other thing. Exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah. So mm, just continue. I'm going to continue. Um, so I decided to finally download it and start listening to it. So that's what I started doing last night. I started <clears throat> and I'm kind of glad that I started with a, a like an audio book. Because if I had to physically read it, I probably would not have made it through the first few chapters because it was just like not super interesting to me. But I was listening to it and I was cleaning at the same time. So it didn't really matter. Yeah, they were setting up the story. She, yeah. This woman. I'm not good with bank. setups, though. That's the thing. I'm not great with setups of story. That's why I read on Wattpad <laughs> because they are fast. <laughs> you texted me at like 1230, I think. Oh, yeah. And we're like, I'm on chapter 13. <laughs> and I woke up this morning to said text. And just in all caps, screamed in yeah, excitement. That's exactly what it was just like, ah, <laughs> it was like the text you sent back. And so I, I started yeah. and, um, and I was like, oh boy. Um, I was like, he's, he seems like a really nice guy. Yeah. But then you turn around pretty much doing the same shit to somebody. And I was like, does that really make you a nice guy? Um, is he a nice guy? But he does good things, I guess. Yeah, he does. Yeah. He kills um, people for a good cause. Yeah, he kills people for a good cause. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If you gotta be with a man, at least be with a man that kills people for a good cause. Um, so I was like, yeah, I have, I guess I'm gonna listen to this while I clean. All right, so I listened to that much of it last night and I was like, damn. Yeah. Like, like great grandma, like great granddaughter. <laughs> yeah. So um then this morning I was like, I have more cleaning to do. So I started listening to it again as I was like cleaning the kitchen. Which yes, my husband interrupted me multiple times to just come over and just say something. Was it at the random in the opportune moment? Yes. And um <laughs> then I have to stop and he was like, didn't understand why I got annoyed because like my phone was dying. Because I had to charge my headphones last night. So I put those on my charger instead of my phone. So this mm-hmm. morning I was like, whatever, I'm going to use my headphones in the morning. My phone can just stay on the charger like over in the office. Mm-hmm. So then every time I had to go back, I had to walk all the way to the office yep. to hit back. So, yeah. So then he didn't understand why I was annoyed every time he'd like come in and I like couldn't get to my headphone fast enough, especially because I was like doing dishes and cleaning and I couldn't always touch, you know, um, so, uh, the gun part, <laughs> first off, before the fucking hands, are you kidding me? You call the police all these other times, you get a box of fucking hands on your porch and you go, you know what? <laughs> I'm not going to do it. Are you joking? <laughs> girl we gotta talk (laughs) well okay but (coughs) obviously she is pretty you know she's a writer so she's mentally ill yeah (laughs) and and so in case you want to know the gun part is like chapter four 15, 16? I think it's chapter 16. Yeah, beginning of the book. <laughs> I can, I was like, oh my god. And I'm actively in the kitchen. All right. I'm like in, in a common area in my house listening to this. All right. And then I go up because we're talking about how the quality on our other one was like mic quality was. Yeah, I was shit. editing and yeah. And so then I was like, you know, we can re-record if you want. And we have the mics now because they literally just came today. This morning. Yeah. Yeah. And um, we could do that. And. Let me know when you want to do that. So then I go up to get my start doing my makeup to come here to do this. And I start just listening to it again. But by this point. All right. By this point, my eye like. um. My AirPods have died at this point. I've been listening for that long that they died. So they were charging Mm -hmm. and I was in not my bathroom because my bathroom, I've got too much stuff on my countertop. So I do my makeup in Amelia's bathroom. Mm -hmm. 
Plus, she's got better lights than me. Mm -hmm. Um, So uh, I'm in my daughter's bathroom. I close the door and I just have it playing (laughs) full volume on my phone. And this is when he's like going into the club and yeah. And um, I found myself at multiple times when I come here to, to film this. It usually takes me roughly 20 minutes to do my makeup. Mm -hmm. Like, I'll just quickly do it in her bathroom, and it does not take me long at all. You texted me while I was doing my makeup. Mm -hmm. Right? Like, we had been texting. You replied to that text. Mm -hmm. I was still doing my makeup. When I looked down when I was done, you had sent me that 50-some minutes prior. Yeah. So, it took me over an hour to do my makeup. Yeah. Half the time, I found myself, because I sent you an audio. Yeah, I know you did. <laughs> we, should, we should probably play that. <laughs> I sent you an audio. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to recreate. This was me while I was listening to Haunting Adeline, right? I had my, my headphones on. Pretend this is my crochet blanket. I would literally do this. That's when I, that's when I, I swear to God, I would find myself, I was doing something or like something on my face. And that's why I feel like at some point I got the weirdest, because I'd be like doing something and then I would be like, (laughs) and I would just keep going. And and I was like, save it. Oh, it didn't? No. Darn it. I should have hit keep. Okay. But here you go. So we were talking about the fact that she was... She's I was running to my car. She's currently on chapter 19. And uh, I thought it would be great for me to start rereading the book. So that we could be like reading them together. And then we could talk about it and have a smut date. Smut update on the podcast. And we could talk about it. And she, I, I sent her that text at 4.33. 536 I get I'm on my way and you guys have to see this <laughs> and then he sent me the I told you in all caps and then in between that was an audio recording of me running to my car going oh my god I literally just t- took so long to do my makeup because I would get I would get to a point where I realized I was just standing there going He did what? <laughs> Do you want to hear where I'm at right now? Yeah. Because I just stopped right it because I was like, I got to go. Like, I can't. So what chapter am I in right now? 19. Nope. I'm in 21. <gasps> we'll go back one minute and see where I am. Were you listening to it in the car all the way here? No. Oh. The mirror of him through blurred eyes. But if anything, the sight only spurs him on. He pumps his cock in. They're in the... Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't take long. Are yeah. you listening to it faster? Oh, yeah. I have, it at, I have it at 1.2. Yeah, I don't... I, don't I have know. it at 1.2. I have to listen to it a little faster. I'm sorry. Okay, she was talking way too slow for me. My brain was like, you... I can't do this. I wanted her... I was trying... My brain was trying to complete sentences for her. That's the ADHD. My brain was trying to complete sentences for her. And I was like... Bitch, you gotta talk faster. You gotta beat her there. <laughs> like <laughs> he pumped his one. <laughs> I loved how that was. I don't even remember that because I feel like I I let me go back a little bit more there. To notice the smirk light on his face. The tip caresses my jaw, the soft skin sliding against the <gasps> sending shivers down my spine. I know where they are. I stare at him in disgust. She's drunk. If I remember correctly, she drunk because she was drinking with her best friend. I love her best friend. Wait, I thought that. <clears throat> oh, is she, are they not in her driveway? No. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Oh, no. Oh, nay, nay. They're trying to solve a murder right now. This is where her and her best friend were trying are trying to solve her grandmother's murder, her great grandmother's oh, well, murder. Yeah, that's the entire book. And they drank, but they were <laughs> they were drinking. Her and her bestie. Yeah, her and her bestie. bestie. So what's her name? Dyra? Dyra? Mm-hmm. Is this short for something or is that an actual name? Dyra. 
Daya. Mm-hmm. They were drinking tequila. Yes. Yeah. And she was like, you know, when you're trying to solve a murder, you drink. <laughs> and I was like, that I like her. Yeah. I like her a lot. But I thought it was, I think I find it so interesting that it's like, oh, cool. As soon as I I I figured out what Daira did for a living, I was like, oh my God, she works for him. Mm-hmm. In, in me, I was like, she works for him. Mm-hmm. And then she goes, that's it. I'm installing security cameras in your house. And I was like, oh, fuck. Now you're just giving him full access because it's going to be his company that does it. I guarantee you it's going to be him that. Yeah. And I was like, either he's going to be the one to come over to or he's going to send somebody. Of course, he sent somebody. But I was like, so you that's... haven't you haven't gotten to the driveway scene yet? No. <gasps> okay. I thought I did like though where when she saw him and standing there menacingly, <laughs> he was standing out there and she was like, "You know what? Fuck you!" And she just starts walking towards him and she's like, "Hey, asshole!" Yeah. Well, I mean, it's more realistic. Like, yeah, isn't that you know just confronting him? You have a stalker, and I did not think through. I just love how she, like after she got to, she was like almost realizing that like I didn't think this through. I don't have anything to protect myself. Like, she left the knife inside. inside. She didn't realize it until she got back inside, yeah. saw it on the floor, and it went, was, "How stupid am I? I just Why did I leave the knife in here?" Yeah. Mm-hmm. But yes, so yeah, that's where they're at, where they were drinking. And then she went to her into her friend's room, helped her friend take her pants off. That's what a good like friend a true does. friend does. And then her friend was like, How are you gonna take your pants off? And she was like, He'll probably take them off. <laughs> Lo and behold. <laughs> Lo and behold. <laughs> he, he did he did show up. And yeah. then, of course, he was like, are you drunk? <laughs> She's like, yeah. <laughs> Way no. to state the obvious. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. You're drunk. But yeah, I I cannot. That's so funny, though. That, that's the I first thing. You. That's the first thing that comes through. <laughs> it's the word God. <laughs> but yes, he pumped his... That was just really I'm funny. trying to remember the rest of it. My face is a mask of lies, and the fucker knows it. He starts to pump his cock, gripping it tightly, the veins bulging beneath his grip. Even swallowed in his large hand, it looks intimidating. What are you doing? I snap. What he do you mean? She can response, silencing me with a sharp gasp. The asshole. He continues to pump his cock, and when I realize that he's just I don't know how much we get hit for, like... <laughs> Copyright for that, but <laughs> may have to take that out. <laughs> we'll see. Or just silence it. <laughs> so all you see is us going. <laughs> I'll just put on the screen. That would be great to just be silent. Be like, here is some silence, and just watching us react <laughs> to a certain scene. <laughs> I have been trying to get you to read this book. <sighs> See, the, here's the thing, though. I said to Brian, I was like, I'm not getting into Akatar yet. I was like, because I we'll do this first. We'll do both these books first. And then I will. I was like, I feel like I need to work up to fairy smut. <laughs> like, to mythical, I need to mythical work up to fairy beings porn. going at it. Ooh. My smut has always been like... But they're not mythical beings. Different. Because they're not like... The main character starts out human. That sounds complicated. You'll see. From what I've heard is that this girl has a very big character change in this book. I saw a TikTok today. That gave me a little bit of a warning about what's to come in it. Because I was like, I don't know what what this man is supposed to look like. I need, this is what I do when I read things, smart things that have characters in it that I don't know. Um, Because sometimes some of the stuff on Wattpad I read that people make original characters, I'll usually type into like an AI. Like I have Poe and I will use their photo thing on AI and I'll type in what that character looks like and then let the AI show me someone. 
Mm-hmm. And then I'm like, oh, that's what they look like. Mm-hmm. And that's how, because I, I need an image in my head. Mm-hmm. All right. So I started going on TikTok and I was looking up. It's got very close to the microphone. So I'm trying not to disturb anyone's ears. Um, sorry, Philip. <laughs> And uh, is this one? I just saw one that I saved that I thought was funny. <laughs> Turn my volume down. Though. Yeah. It's good audio. And then I saw this one. Then I was like, okay, well, now there's another book that we need. <laughs> I was like, here's another book we need to get into then. <laughs> it's called The Ritual. I have it queued up. Do you? <laughs> should we do that one together <laughs> at the should. same time? We should. Okay. We should. There's a couple that we should do together at the same time. But what are your thoughts on Zaid? I mean, I would like to say he's, like, fucking crazy. Okay. But he also, like, saves children and innocent people. <laughs> he's, like, a good guy. <laughs> but he's... <laughs> You're thinking too much into this. I am thinking way too much into this. Because <laughs> at the say? same time, I'm like, hmm. Mm. But then I'm like, my other, like, go-to uh, comfort characters are, like, Dean Winchester. And Ghost from Call of Duty. See, and those are like morally gray men, especially Demon Dean, when he becomes a demon for a little while. See, you're going in depth into thinking of like their moral compass. And I read things like that and go, yes, daddy. <laughs> 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 that's just how I am <laughs> it's a problem I know but now in the I feel like I have an off and on like about Adeline where I'm like bitch she can be really annoying she can be she can be really and annoying. there are times where I was like yes there have been times where love her best friend though I will get up or while I was listening to it I would get up and just start pacing around the bedroom. And I would like scream because she was just being so fucking stupid and annoying. And it was like, but common sense would dictate for you to do otherwise. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, you want to do otherwise. Stop trying to fight what your brain and your gut is telling you and just fucking do it already. All right. <laughs> yeah, man. Okay. Fuck. Yeah. Oh, God. I would get I would get heated, and Logan would come upstairs and be like, "Are you okay?" And I would be like, "No, nine, nine, me, <laughs> me. I am not okay." Yeah. I love her best friend, though. Yeah, you also... Let me pull up my auto. She's becoming a... Hold on. Love the attitude. I love everything about her. Relatable. Shallow River. You also need to listen to Shallow River. It's just one book. It was pretty short. Um, By the same author. H.T. Carlton. Oh, did you ever do, uh, re- was it Twisted? Twisted Love? No. 
That's another one I've heard about. Okay. That's all over Book Talk too. Okay. There's a whole bunch of them. Okay. We do need to start doing them together. Yeah. Yeah, we do. And then we can talk about them. Yeah. Smut dates. Yeah. Make a little notes along the way because I just won't. There, I'm. I'm guarantee you there are things that like I reacted at during this just in now at 21 chapters that I already don't remember. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah, at I, this point I've been through the gun scene and I've been through I love that scene. There was one other It's a good scene. What was the second one? I already don't remember. There was another one already. With Zade? Mm-hmm. I don't know. Yeah, there was a girl in there when I heard it. Was she sleeping? Yeah. No. Nope, Which is that, weird. That's oh, oh, the, that's oh she later. like snores or something, and then he's fighting laughing. Yeah. Yo. Until he gets outside. And I was like, that's relatable. That's something I would do where I look so nice and peaceful while I'm sleeping that I'd roll over and make some kind of monstrous noise. <laughs> that's when my husband would be like, I married that. Same. <laughs> I do. I, I have... He can't complain, though, because he makes <laughs> monstrous noises while he sleeps. I've, well. I've been told that I snore. I never knew that I snored. And then one night... I was, I'm pretty sure, drunk, sleeping. Like, I was out. And Logan took a video of me snoring. It wasn't loud. I'm, I'm not a loud snorer. I have a video of Brian snoring. It's there. Because it I, I both might have a video me and our me. child. And here, I don't know here we go. Was. Here we go. I just that, texted I him. That so long ago. And I was like, can you just send me a... <laughs> <laughs> I was possessed by a demon. <laughs> How is he not dying right now? How is he not laughing in that video? <laughs> I forgot. I forgot what I was even looking for. I, I forgot I was even looking for this video. I was possessed. Because <laughs> I got distracted by other videos. Listen. Um, it happens, man. Was it this one? <laughs> no. You're looking because for a video he's of like Brian snoring. Oh god. Immediately yeah. snoring in it. It was uh <clears throat> it was a great morning to wake up and have that sent to me. <laughs> <laughs> You're blue. <laughs> yeah, that's that's how Brian snores. Okay, I don't do that. And usually, there's no sound when I start. There's no ah. Uh. <laughs> I don't know what that was. The other videos that he sent. It was just <laughs> like that was the noise. So attractive. <laughs> you know, this is what it is. People snore. That's hilarious. Yeah. Oh my God. Well, you got anything else? Nope. Um, You can find us on Spotify. Oh, yeah. You can listen to us on Spotify. YouTube. Watch us on YouTube. Uh, at hiding from our husbands. Yeah, plural. And uh, you can find also you can find little clips of us, mm -hmm. um, things that are episodes that are already out and episodes that are about to be out, um, on TikTok and Instagram. Yes, uh, along with little other behind the scenes stupid videos of just us. Um, our sparkle. Our sparkle. Like, comment, subscribe. Ring the bell. Do the things. Mm -hmm. Let us know if there's anything specific you want us to or any to talks. talk about. If you have discuss. any really Seriously. good, so this is this is for book talk. Book talk. Listen up. All right. 
I am just, see, like, I've been into smutty things for a while. We love smut. Okay. <laughs> well, um, and, it's like but I have been into some very big, anything from what pad, like fan fictions, supernatural, Call of Duty, mm-hmm. that kind of flow of things. Okay. Um, that's what I typically read. I never really read an actual, like, like books, books. Okay. So this is the first time. So listen, book talk. We need recommendations. We're going to read books together. We're going to do them together and then we're going to talk about them because some of this shit is fucking bananas. Is it bananas? B A N A N I S. Yes, it's bananas. Like, I like bananas. Is it bananas? We just talked about some girl getting fucked by a gun. And (laughs) yes, please. Yes. So (laughs) please. Give us some recommendations. Yeah. Um, we already talked about possibly reading T- Twisted Love and The Ritual. Shallow River. Shallow River mm-hmm. is another one. Mm-hmm. Leave us some recommendations. This little part right here is going to make it to TikTok because I'm going to make sure it does. Um, I Drop us some recommendations. Yeah, <clears throat> I've already read... All of the Akatar series that's out. Obviously, we're waiting for the next books. Um, but I've also reread them already. I have not. So we're gonna get some because eventually I will start. Yeah. So, and we, so gotta, we gotta read those and reread those. I do have a that's your phone. I do have a couple. Um, but I'm always looking to expand and have more stuff to read. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's pretty much it. Happy New Year. Next week is our birthday episode. Yeah, it's going to it's going to be like a whirlwind because you're going to see this with these and yeah. then you're going to see the birthday episode <laughs> which is going to be Bill and my phone. Yeah, and I'm I have <laughs> Bill, which uh, she had Bill, my phone is Ted. It's going to be so it's Bill and that Ted. audio is going to be very interesting. Yeah, it's going to be different. Um we're going to see I mean we're going to eventually work more on Getting both of both Phil, yeah. and Philip and Aurora, and maybe getting uh, our audios to the point where like our microphones are only picking up our own voices, yeah, and not necessarily each other's voices, yeah. That might be a challenge because we're so close together. Mm-hmm. We're working on it. It's a work in progress. Yeah, but yeah. Have a good week, Monday. We're filming a special Epstein list episode. Yes, that's going to be interesting. Um, we're going to do a reaction to the Epstein list. Logan's going to make an appearance. And we, uh, I'm hopeful I'll be able to have that edited and uploaded Monday night, if not by Tuesday morning. Um, but yeah, we're, we're going to have that come out. So stay tuned for that. Otherwise, bye for now. Don't let a morally gray man fuck you with a gun. But why? It wasn't cocked. An easy way to get tennis, I feel like. <laughs> he cleaned it. <laughs> what, with his mouth? Yeah. <laughs> After the fact. I didn't clean it beforehand. He might have. You don't know. You don't know what he was doing while he was watching her. <laughs> I mean, in the other one, he talked about what he was doing when he was watching it. Exactly, yeah. (laughs) Okay, bye, guys.